As more businesses adopt AI and understand its relevance for business growth, the obvious question is how do you get started on this journey? So here in the studio today to answer that very question from Scan's AI team is Dan Parkinson. Thank you for coming in. Thank you very much. So where do we start then, Dan? Uh, typically, it's uh, with a phone call uh, to someone like myself in the AI team, uh, where we discuss exactly what you're trying to achieve, uh, what your ultimate goals are, uh, and then recommend a solution that's relevant to you uh, and your ultimate goals. Um, hopefully starting with something like a data science workstation. Okay, so what is a data science workstation then, if we could break it down for people? Yeah, it's uh, it's quite simply, it's uh, an NVIDIA certified product. Uh, it's built on a professional grade uh, GPU um, with uh, NGC software stack built on top of it. Uh, without wanting to get too technical, it's the starting ground uh, for most AI workloads. What we've done uh, over the years is we've identified that a typical AI workflow goes from develop to train then inference. Uh, and each one has a different computational workload. Uh, so the data science workstation is very relevant to the development stage. Um, it's designed to work with a limited data set um, where data scientists will work with the weightings uh, at a very technical level uh, to try and develop a model that's accurate. Once that scales uh, into um, something like a DGX, uh, which is the next stage of hardware, so develop, train, inference, the training stage uh, is where you would typically take a data set of millions of images and train that same model with that same weighting, same accuracy to then get a model where you would infer it at the back end uh, with the Tesla T4s. Uh, so you've referenced that these workstations are NGC ready, but what does that actually mean? What's NGC? So NGC is uh, NVIDIA's GPU cloud. It's a free to access resource built and developed by NVIDIA. Uh, it contains an array of containers and pre-built models uh, that you can use on the professional series of workstations or professional GPUs. So Dan, you mentioned earlier about how you would get started on this journey, but why specifically would you choose SCAN? Um, as an NVIDIA Elite Solution Provider, uh, that relationship dates back over 30 years, uh, where SCAN have grown uh, alongside NVIDIA uh, somewhat. Um, SCAN were uh, a big partner for NVIDIA, um, you know, dating back through, from the gaming systems, and when NVIDIA uh, became number one for the GPU accelerated compute, so did SCAN. SCAN are seen as uh, leaders in our field. Uh, we're number one across the UK and Europe. Um, we were one of the first to invest in DGX hardware, DGX ones, um, and now we're one of the first partners in the UK uh, to have DGX A100 available. So as I mentioned earlier, Dan is from Scan's dedicated AI team. But Dan, tell us who else makes up that team and who are you working alongside? Uh, so there's a, a wealth of experience uh, in that team. There's everything from solution engineers, uh, solution architects, Linux engineers, certified NVIDIA installation engineers. Um, we, we've got a whole resource available to us, allows us to take that idea um, or take that customer from idea to inference, uh, where we can help you design that solution, visualize what that solution may look like, and then help you install that and give you that single source of full cycle support. So can you tell me a little bit more then about who would use a data workstation and why? Yeah, so the, the data science workstations are typically a data scientist uh, who uh, at the start of uh, a company's AI journey, they've got a, a labelled data set, um, a qualified data set that they're ready to work with, um, and they want to trial different ways of uh, building a model around that data. Can you give us any use cases then, some examples of how people have used the workstation? So we've got customers that have bought data science workstation, uh, that have got a limited data set already, and they're looking at object anomaly um, using computer vision. So that, that's, that's one use of these, but these also uh, are used for COVID, uh, that's very prevalent at the minute. Um, and, and there's many other use cases within AI. It typically starts with the data science workstation. So we do also have a workstation buyer's guide on our YouTube channel, which we'll link below if you are looking to find out more about the full range that we provide and things that you need to consider. But Dan, whilst you're here, could you give us a little bit of an overview of that? Yeah, so these uh, start off with a single RTX 6000 GPU in the entry level system. Uh, this is where you would typically uh, start off with uh, a system to trial a few different weightings uh, with a very limited data set before moving up to something like a, GV, a dual GV100 data science workstation, which will offer you a greater level of single and mixed precision before then scaling up again to your training side of hardware, such as a DGX. Okay, so how easy is it to scale up then it would be an obvious question then. If you started with something that you'd consider entry level, you know, is it easy to then kind of move up? Yeah, very much. And that's, that's in part due to the NGC cloud software stack that's uh, sort of on top of all the professional range uh, GPUs that, that is available to these workstations. Um, that allows you to build a model on a data science workstation, uh, very easily transfer that to something like a DGX A100. 
uh, before moving that final model onto a Tesla T4. Okay, so there's, there's going to be no stage at which anything that you invest in it becomes redundant? No, not at all. I mean, it, the AI, what we found with all of our customers, our clients um, currently, is it's a very cyclical process. So they'll get to the, the point where they're inferencing a model, uh, but then they will go and take a, a limited data set from that inference end and then throw it back into the beginning of that, that cycle again. So beyond that first step down, what other considerations should customers have with their AI journey? Yeah, so that, that's something that we sort of uh, discuss very openly with clients. Uh, we've got a large ecosystem of partners that we work with, uh, with everything from scalable compute, scalable interconnect solutions, uh, and scalable storage solutions. We've even got our own in-house uh, NVIDIA certified DLI, uh, Deep Learning Institute uh, instructors. So we operate courses for people starting off their journey. So for those that are almost ready to start the journey, Scan have this fantastic opportunity where you can almost test drive, if you like, the hardware before you invest. Tell us a bit more about that. Yeah, we've got a full proof of concept environment where you can either test drive the data science workstations and see if it's right for yourself. Um, or we can even scale that up to the DGX hardware. Uh, we've got DGX ones, DGX A100 in that proof of concept environment where we'll help onboard you and guide you through that process of testing, trying and verifying that this system is right for you. Excellent. Well, Dan, thank you very much for coming in today and talking us through that. If you're ready to start your AI journey with Scan and NVIDIA or you have any questions at all for our team, get in touch today. And of course, you can check out our buyer's guide. We'll pop the links below for you.